This is my 20 gauge shotgun. This is a 410. How about that? 20 gauge, 45 Colt. 20 gauge, nine millimeter. 20 gauge, 22. 22. So the cool thing is, these are, I've had these for years. Never touched them, they've just been on my workbench. I was like, boy, if there was a time to show off some uh, different type of adapters for different type of guns is in an ammo shortage like this. this uh, these are short lane gun adapters. They go like gunadapters.com or something, but they make all sorts of different ones. So we're gonna test it out a little and go from there. All right guys, before we keep shooting, Big thank you to our sponsor, and that's Nutrient Survival. They make survival food that is good. That was their goal. They, they, they didn't just want nasty stuff. This stuff has a 25 year shelf life, loaded with vitamins and minerals and good stuff for you, and it also tastes good. We've got things like, this is just a sample packet they sent me, chocolate grain crunch, hearty apple cinnamon oatmeal, chocolate chip cookie meals, home style scrambled eggs, and it's, ooh, triple mac cheese, and it's easy to fix. Just warm it up in some water and you're good to go. But I I got this cookie pill and I'm like, oh, we're friends now. You know why we're friends? Because it says cookie meal. This is a meal. I was like, every kid's dream, now it's cookie meal. Never tried it, you saw me open it, moment of truth. You can tell it's not fresh out of the oven, but it tastes good, it tastes good. So use code TOPSHOTDUSTIN for $10 off your first number 10 can. Now let's shut up and shoot. So they make different lengths of these, and this is the shortest rifled length, it's three inches, because I liked the idea that you can just have this little pouch. You could put it on the side of your shotgun, and now you have four different calibers you can shoot with, because I got the 45 Long Colt, the nine millimeter, the 22, and they make a bunch more for a bunch different, uh, 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 different calibers, but what we're going with today, I wanted to start with the nine millimeter because I wanted to see what the velocity really is, because you really have a short, you know, I mean, uh, after you put it in the chamber there, you're only talking about a two and a half inch. And the website I think said is around a thousand. A thousand feet per second. I was like, that's pretty good. Let's see. Huh, 1,096 feet per second. Let's do one more, make sure it wasn't a fluke. See what my holds are gonna be too. Oh, it was right next to it and it's 1,100 and 14 feet per second. That's impressive at a little three inch barrel. But you're like, well, why won't I just use a pistol? Absolutely, just use a pistol. Sight radius though, could be more precise than, you know, than just your regular uh, handgun, at least skill wise, it may help you that way. Now, when I shot the 45 Colt earlier, uh, accuracy was really wonky and here's why I think so. Uh, because they're trying to put this long of a cartridge in there. You only got about an inch and a half. So maybe that's it. Let's figure it out. I see four good splats on our steel. We'll just go for the center-ish there. Okay, it went a little to the right. And <laughs> that velocity can't be right. It says 132. <laughs> I think it's faster than that. <laughs> Try again. 131. No way. 145. Something's got to be wrong. The 22 one is offset, so I found it fires best because because it's a rim fire, right? So mine fired best when I put the ejection notch down below. Uh, when I tried it first with it straight up in the air, it was different. But you want to make sure you orient it the same way, or you'll have a different point of impact shift as it's going all the way around in the bore of your shotgun. I'm gonna go for that Larue target in the background. See if we get. Oh, dead center and 842 feet per second. That's more like it. That's what we should be expecting. So out of a little subcompact 22, that's what you'd be getting. But the shot placement was good. We're on that LaRue target where this is 20 yards away. I'm gonna see. Again, we're gonna try to shoot, print a group. Shooting through the crony, hit the LaRue target. That one went a little bit to the right, but 834 feet per second. So the power's there. Accuracy's, oh, I'm gonna be better at the 22 rifle, but Come on, we're just shoving this in a shotgun. That's kind of cool. Testing the nine millimeter. I want to see if I can hit a plate rack from 20 yards. Uh, I believe this one, I have to hold a little low left for it. Remember, there's no rear sight, so you're still just shooting it like a shotgun. 
I was not aiming for that plate. <laughs> this thing might kind of be all over the place. That one went low. I was aiming on the low edge, but I expected a little more. Finally got it. All right, I am better than a handgun than the, with this little thing. There we go. Let's see if we can get a third one down. Sweet, now we're talking. So, with the nine millimeter one, now we're kinda on. But I don't know, you know, hunting wise, uh, a slug and stuff would definitely be better. But appropriately enough, I could not find any 20 gauge shells for this shotgun. So let's see if we can do better with 22. <laughs> hit it, but 22 doesn't have enough power to knock it down. How about the spinner? It's up close, it's a little smaller. Let's try to hit that spinner right there on the top. It's white, right here. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. The 22 one seems to be pretty accurate. 410, 45. I had pretty bad accuracy as results, but we're going to see. <laughs> if it's only going 130 feet per second, like the chronograph said, maybe it don't matter. Y'all sound off in the comment. Why am I getting 130 feet out of this? Let's go for the clean one right to the right of the big gong. Hold dead center. <laughs> Missed the whole stinking thing. I don't know if this one is even rifled. Maybe that's half the issue. This bullet's just tumbling. And if it's for a 410 gauge as well, maybe there's not enough, it's not capturing enough gases to actually make it go fast enough. We're gonna try that same target. Way off to the left, we're gonna hold right and just see, but I'm kind of thinking we figured it out. The 410 one, 45 is just not gonna be accurate. hit it not too much power though so anyway you may have to pick and choose what you wanted I just got this one because it was cool I figured hey a bug out bag you can put these in and have a you know a four caliber uh, shotgun I thought that was kind of cool in an ammo shortage like this you might want to check it out as well I just was going to the range to have some fun with it thanks for watching today guys okay I love you bye bye Did you see that? Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah! Oh, perfect! <laughs> Yeah!